Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Andy. Oh, look at that. That's our fight song, too. Perfect, perfect timing. We are close to probation. Yeah, so this is what's funny. So, at the end of last season, the bar was maxed. And so, the last two seasons, I haven't, acu uh, I haven't allocated that many points to discipline. And then last season, it just so happened that half my team did stuff. So, I was out of points probably in week five. I was out of points, and I kept having guys get violations. That bar got maxed out. So the funny thing is, that bar was maxed, completely maxed at the end of last season. I didn't get probation. I didn't get any sanctions. So now, this whole season, it's... I, the, the, okay, so then in the offseason, I allocated a bunch of points to discipline because I'm like, I got to get this sucker down. And if you have a guy do something, and then you punish him, it actually makes the bar go down, as opposed to nothing happening. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to allocate a bunch of points, hope that guys do stuff so I can hammer them, make that bar go down. This is the first, it's week like nine. What week is it? It's week 11. This is the first violation of any kind I've had. So on one hand, it's good. It's, it's not all bad because the bar does, I mean, you may know this or you may not. The bar ticks down every week. Every week that nothing happens, that bar ticks down a little bit. But if you have somebody do something, you punish them, it goes down way more. So it's kind of not exactly consistent game logic. So if you want the bar to go down faster, you actually want guys to do stuff, and then you can you can punish them a lot. Um, and this is our first violation. And so here, the recommended suspension is f uh, three games. And the most we can give them is four, because there's actually only four games left in the season. So we're going to go ahead and give them four. So also the funny thing w that I also was going to wonder, too is, I mean, we, we're not, we're not going to find out now, but I thought it would have been funny if last year we had tons of violations, bars max, no probation. I was really curious if I got through this whole season with no violations, that bar only go d goes down a little bit, and then I get then I get probation when nobody did anything that season. Now, I, I know software, I actually do software development, and knowing code and logic and things, I was kind of guessing that I actually was still going to have a chance for probation despite not having anything happen. They do. Yeah, they do. And in this case, I don't think season does actually make a difference because four games is the season. So you can see when you change it, the bar actually doesn't change. Uh, so I'm basically giving this guy a season suspension for the rest of the season. He'll be back for the bowl game. The standard is three. But if, if you look, I mean, that's an, that's an extra... 8, 10% just for the one game. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll also just have to hope that somebody else does something in the next couple of games as well. And it's too bad it was so late in the season because I can only suspend him four games. If I could do more, it would have been a lot, had a lot more effect. So that's where we stand on that. So let's do a little pre-scout on, it was Arizona, right? Wildcats? Yes. At Arizona, we will travel to... Glendale? I'm actually not sure. Is that what it was? I actually forgot to look at I actually forgot to look at the actual violation. What did he do? The NCA is looking into some forged progress reports allegedly written by Harris. Until they've announced their findings, it would be best if we suspend this kid from playing any more football. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's the thing where and I, I don't know, I didn't play college sports. Uh, you must have to present grade reports to coaches to ensure, or maybe your uh, compliance department to make sure you're eligible. I'm not really sure. And also, if he had to forge progress reports, that would also imply that he's ineligible, that he doesn't have grades. So, who knows? These things are funny, though. They crack me up. I like this part of the game. Even though it only hurts your team, I think it's fun. Uh, so, yes, Arizona, pre-scout. They have a boatload of QBs. What's this about? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have four, and one of them is redshirting. Oh, this guy, 80 overall freshman. His throwing must be pretty good. 92, 80, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, okay. Is that what did it say that, or we just would that make more sense? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I guess what you mean. That that could be it. All right, so here we go. So they have a impact QB, not a scrambler, more of a thrower, more of a passing QB. 
Oh yeah, it does. I didn't even look at that little that little chart, Ely. One, two, three, four. A couple of red shirts. Not all great prospects, it doesn't look like. I mean, this is pretty good, though. Freshman at 74, that's pretty good. And honestly, my team... This is another thing, too. It irks me how stacked my team is. I really don't. I, I'm going to I'm gonna curl back recruiting. And if you ever watch one of my recruiting streams, I mean, I just stream while I do recruiting, I'm always fighting chat because chat's like, go for the blue chip, go for the four star. I'm like, okay. This game gets boring pretty darn fast if you just stack your team, so... I'm going to impose more recruiting restrictions on myself, like like max of one blue chip and max of maybe like three four stars, something like that. Because this game's way more fun when you have to find... It's more fun when you have to find scheme fits. That, that's actually an option. I have an idea. I, I may do that. We'll see. The one thing I want to do, I do want to see out at least the career of Derek Carr this year, and if he doesn't go pro, which... Side note... Guys go pro, generally, I want to let guys go pro just for the fact to keep the, the roster turnover going. But if it's somebody I created and I want to see their whole career, like Derek Carr also had Ryan Matthews, I'll generally try to keep him. But in general, like 95% of the time, I'm going to let him go. I, I do, yeah, yeah, he's on YouTube. He uh, He's really popular on YouTube. Yeah, what is, what, oh, what is his recruiting role? Yeah, I'd be curious because I need something like that. I need a kind of a harder rule to stick to. And I, like I said, I've thought of a couple things like re re restricting to one blue chip and maybe three four stars, but that's that's about all I've thought of. And also, I try to recruit guys in the Central Valley near Fresno as well. So what are we doing? Arizona pre-scout. Running back, not much going on. Not too bad. I mean, okay, but not much going on. A little speed there. Receiver, not much going on. Tight end is okay, but he's slow. Oh, line's actually looking pretty good. Okay, that guy's suspended, though. Oh, yeah, okay. I can go look. I mean, it's okay. No, no worries. Either way, I can also go look. I know some people say, oh, I can, I can only recruit... Um, the star equivalent of my prestige. So if you're like a three prestige team, you can only go after three star guys. Some people do stuff like that, but I definitely need to curl it back. I mean, I've had, I actually, I think I actually had a number one, gosh, did I have a number one recruiting class? I've had top 10 recruiting class like three times in the six seasons. D tackles are pretty good here. DN, not much going on. Linebacker, not much. That guy's all right. Corner, okay, corners look good. Safety look, okay, that guy's out though. That's a pretty good safety right there. This guy's okay. And we got a B safety there. So our secondary is actually pretty good. We're going to have to hope that we can run the ball or do things kind of shallow, shallow type stuff. All right, let's get this sucker going. I'm going to flip over my input so it will go black for just a moment. Oh, wrong input. Oh, go away. That's work. Oh, I don't want to see that right now. No, just kidding. I actually like my job. But it's just a it was just a screen full of code. I'm like, oh gosh, I don't want to see that right now. Yep, so we got two more games with Uncle Rico, Rico Simon at QB. Yeah, let's do it up. I'm gonna stick with the road whites again. I really like the all whites. I'm enjoying that. We're going to do the four on Harold Harris. I Oh, I need to check the... I'm going to have to check the... Uh, oh, no, no. I wanted to add... Oh, no, no. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I wanted to change... I wanted to change... Okay, I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to exit out of this. I'm calling it now. I was going to add a formation. I was going to add another balance formation. So this is quit. This is quit status. I don't like doing that because I know there's probably a lot of pre-roll random stuff that happens that determines how the game's going to go. But I actually did want to go in here and look at playbooks for just a minute. So if you're on YouTube, whatever, I apologize. You can skip past this if you want. Because where is... It's those... Y trips, twins, shotgun trio. I don't use this hardly ever. I wanted to add... I don't wanted to add one of these, actually. One of the shotgun trips or shotgun trips week. Okay, so that's kind of what I was... Yeah, I kind of mentioned that a minute ago that some people do. That might be it, right? It's, 
it, like if you're a three star prestige, you can only go after three stars. Well, yeah, it's because I've recruited. I've recruited way too good of players. I'm gonna see what this looks like. No, my team. Yeah, exactly. So I'm thinking about putting restrictions that are above that because I already have the high prestige. Yeah. So let's see levels, flood, P insides, curl flat, gambler. This looks pretty good. Shallow cross. I like that a lot. Memphis, twin out, slants. This looks pretty good. I might go with this. Uh, let's see. Those are PA read. PA inside. There's not a read. That's fine. Inside switch. Okay, so this actually, I actually like the look of this. Let us look real quick at the the normal version, not the halfback weak version right here. I just want to see this and see if it's much different. Yeah, so that's why I'm thinking just max of one blue chip. Because, I mean, I've made this team into pretty much a powerhouse, so it's legit to have good players and get a, get a five, get a blue chip here and there, but getting like three, four blue chips, which I actually don't know if I've done yet, but I just, that shouldn't be happening. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm thinking I'm thinking I want to get mostly three stars and give myself maybe like two four stars and a five star. Or maybe even cut out five stars. Or, or the other thing would be a five star has to be from the local area. Basically Central Valley. So let's see, P read, corners. These are significantly different plays. Receiver drag, clear out. I ooh, half back out. So this is kind of similar to, I, I like this, but it's already similar to the other formation that I have. So I think I'm going to stick with the other one. I already have one just like that. Let's just look real quick and see what else there is. Shotgun trips, halfback weak. So, wait a minute. Shotgun trips. Wait, what is this one? Shotgun trips. Halfback weak. Oh, I already had it. I, oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go with that one. Shotgun spread, split offset, F trips, normal flex. Ch -ch -ch. Flip trips, flex trio, double flex, bunch, shotgun bunch. Four receiver trio, four receiver tray. Let's look at this real quick. I, mean, I think I'm going to stick with that other one. Two, and that's that's too many. I don't know. Welcome, welcome, Coach Bob. So right here, what do these plays look like? Gambler, this looks pretty similar to the other one. Oh, this has motion WR. Wait, does that PA read? PA all cross, trips attack. Zone read. I actually kind of like this. Receiver drag, this looks like a fun uh, you know, combo. Wheelie, it's literally called wheelie. This might be the one, Coach Bob, that has wheelie in it. Clear out, stop, flood. I'll go with this one. I actually like this. Right, right. But it, it, it changes it changes the plays quite a bit. All right, and see, we're not visiting. We're not having a home game. All right, let's get it going now. We're doing the four games. We discussed that. Oh, that's an interesting idea. I think the only the only awards I've ever won. Well, okay, I actually did. Win, I won the Heisman with Ryan Matthews. That was an outlier, though. But year to year, it's I always win the Groza because I'm too accurate on field goals. And then uh, well, I forgot to do the whites. I forgot to do the road whites. It'll be okay. Hopefully, they're all red or something. That'll. Oh, they're all blue. Okay, good, good, good. Because I think that time we played Rutgers, it was actually hard to tell the difference between the players. Because I think we were white tops, red bottoms, and they were like red tops, white bottoms. It was completely opposite. Yeah, I think I won the Heisman, and then I won the Returner Award, and then Groza every year. And maybe Coach of the Year. I don't remember if I won Coach of the Year. I, I can't remember. Yeah, but I'm thinking I need to make it like... Maybe not even recruit blue chips, to be honest. Unless we're looking for somebody. So we've made obvious obvious uh, exceptions to that or exceptions to the rule to get guys like Devontae to get uh, – see, no real wind. We'll kick. We'll kick. Coach Bob's here. we got to kick. He'll get on my case if we don't kick. All right. 
and uh, Derek Carr, Devontae. So players like that, we've gone for blue chips. But now that we're kind of getting past that and we're getting more into present day and we haven't had – so we've had some big stars on defense. But we're kind of getting to where – oh, man, already. He's definitely favoring that ankle. It doesn't look to be too yeah, is, he, though, is he a DB or is he a linebacker? I know his number is 48. But do I have – hold on. Because we have – we have – okay, this is funny. I never noticed this. We have two linebackers named Gunn. We have two linebacker – wait, a linebacker and a DB named Gunn. We had a Banks – didn't we have a Banks DB? We had a Banks corner, and we have a Banks – do we have a Banks corner? I'm pretty sure we did. And we have a Banks linebacker. And I thought there was one more. Isn't there one more name, double name? Maybe not. The lighting's dark? It actually looks okay to me. Let's have a look here. Let me check. I can check, into, I can ch I can check the, the, uh, the stream here. Uh, let's see. And for some reason, 07 actually is kind of dark. So let's see what this looks like. Da, 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 da. I get a few seconds of that. Now let me hit. Let me, I'm going to pause it so I can look. There's got a delay here. So I think that's what it usually looks like. It is kind of dark, but that's the typical look. I don't know why it does that. It's a little different. 06 doesn't look like this. 06 is is lighter colored because I have noticed that too I could try to up it a bit oh you know let me take a look here we can take a quick look and see yeah they kind of do they're very dark blue Let's see how do I adjust this do I have filters effect filters is there like a brightness Chroma key color color correction. Gamma contrast brightness. Okay, so we can actually adjust this a little bit. So tell me if this helps. Let's go up in brightness just a bit. Maybe brightness contrast. Is that a little bit better? I don't know. Let's run this for a minute. That's pretty slight. Let's see if that helps, though. You'll have to let me know. But it, for some reason, it is just a darker game. And because I have old videos, old, old videos of NCA 06 and 07. And it, uh, that's better? Okay, okay. And, and it, it, it's a big difference. I don't know why. Ah, oh, I thought I got a great jump. I really didn't get that? Guess not. That's the first okay, what happened here? Yes. Red in the zone. Okay, so this QB is looking pretty good. And I feel like this is something that is kind of pre-rolled, whether the QB is going to have a good day or a bad day. I don't know why. It just feels that way. Really? Well, I, I, when I switch inputs... Um, oh, dang it. What's that, what's that about? It's green, huh? Ah, uh, darn it. Hold on. That is bizarre. I was having issues earlier with the... Uh, yeah. Uh, this... I should be able to like toggle it or something. Let's see here. Ta -ta. I've been having issues with this uh, with this thing. Mm -hmm. Thanks for letting me know, though. I would not I would not have known. Oh, what's it saying? One moment, please. Dude, is my cable messed up again? Hold on, I'm gonna pause the recording on YouTube. So if you're on YouTube, you hopefully will be spared this uh, troubleshooting session. Start the recording again. So if you're on YouTube, you were spared the last few minutes there. So apologies on that, guys. Yeah, but definitely please let me know if that happens again. All right, we're back. And maybe it was just serendipitous that uh, the universe wanted us to wait for King MJ to get here before the game really got going. This is we're only, what, one play in, I think? And what was the play? They hit their tight end for a short game. Oh, first down. Okay. So we called a cover three. Oh, right, a blitz. Let's play deep man. Okay, I think he wants to come my way. The, the CPU, the dot QBs, they like to get aggressive. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're out here. We're there. 
Oh, get that. Oh, yes. Woo. That was awesome. We got lucky there. So he actually broke the initial tackle, right? Oh, did he step out? No, he did not. Clutch. So who gets it? So this is funny. He actually steps out. He steps out before I strip it. Come here. I wonder if that could get reviewed. Skinner picks it up. No, I know. Who picked it up? Fega. Dude, Fega makes plays. Fresno State, we're doing pretty good. We're ranked, uh, we're ranked pretty highly. We're like number 13 or something like that. Okay, let's go. I, I don't want to think right now. I've got to just pick a play. I used too much time. Yes, yeah, so we're doing pretty well. We, we're, we have one loss in the season. We lost our first game. However, it's it's an interesting season because other oh, crowd's quite pumped up here. Oh, this could be a touchdown. This could be big. Rouse is fast. Get him. That wasn't a very good juke. I should juke the other way. I should have stiff armed actually. Oh, we have. Look at the uh, momentum is super high already. That's nice. Gun is out for two quarters. Goodness. Yeah, that was off the kickoff. So we have one loss. Winter Soul at the host. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it very much. Winter Soul, I think you've hosted my last like two or three. I think this makes three streams in a row you've hosted. I appreciate it a lot. Um, so we're doing pretty well. We did lose our first game. And old tower! Go! Okay, that was good. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't want to get hit by the dot. Dude, expand, expand seven pat rage. I like it. If only it showed up on my chat. I'm not that advanced. Let's go, dogs. Let's go, Fresno. So, yeah, it's been an interesting season because we have Derek Carr at quarterback. But he dis – was it dislocated elbow? Uh, yeah, dislocated elbow. Last year it was torn pec. Here we go. Robbie, get in. Get the speed. Woo! There we go. Good start. Excellent start. Yes, I know. Beat them Wildcats. So we had uh, – thank you. Actually, that angle worked out perfectly because I think it's actually good to not run from the sideline right away because you can get the CPU to take a more aggressive angle, and then you can flatten it out and get more yardage. You know, I haven't I haven't done that. So we've kind of casually done that. Okay, actually, so what? So it, it, basically, no, but it also hasn't been requested. I mean, I could if people wanted to, I would do it. If it was reasonable, I would I'd be open to it. Um, but one thing I have been doing is, so this is this is 07, which means the game came out in 2006. We have been taking recruits and matching them to real life players, and in a couple of a couple of uh, situations, we've actually pursued high recruits to match real players. So Derek Carr, for example, he uh, he was a blue chip, which in real life I think he was a three star. Or four, maybe four star. I think it was a four star actually. But we recruited, we purposefully recruited a high rated quarterback so that we'd have a good quarterback we could name Derek Carr. And then with Robbie Rouse, it was more, uh, it was more luck that we got a good running back the same year that Robbie Rouse got recruited. Then also for Devonte Adams, we recruited a blue chip receiver so that we could have a really good re receiver named Devonte Adams. And then, though, uh, so in a couple of instances, we have purposefully recruited really high rated guys to do that. And then in other instances, it's more like if it happens to match up. So, and then, so Marquise Jackson didn't play for Fresno State. He actually, he played for USC too, right, Coach Bob? Um, anyhow, it, there have been a couple of situations where the guy hasn't been a superstar, but it just worked out right. Like Travis Brown was really, really good. He was basically, he was a star of the defense, not a huge NFL prospect like those other guys were, but it matched up that we got a really good linebacker that had some speed. And so we named him Travis Brown. And then a point of uh, one of the, one of the controversial ones was Slade Powell. We actually were going to name him Philip Thomas, who was really good, but Slade Powell, a couple of us, including myself, decided that was a really kind of kick, butt kicking name. That was a really nice name. So we decided to keep it as uh, Slade Powell. Yeah, name players. If you guys have ideas, hit me up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we appreciate the, yeah, the dual, the dual support, St. Cloud. What do we got? We're on defense. They're running cover. Okay, let's go, let's, let's do this. I always just like to see if this works. Usually it's not the best way to go. Zone's much better, but man, it's a lot of fun. We're all about fun here. I don't, see another thing too is I don't do, hold on. 
and try to jump this. Oh, I jumped it early. Okay, let's go somewhere else. I, I don't. The tight end is. He's so he's not a real. He wasn't. I didn't. We, he wasn't named to a real player from Fresno, but he is. Uh, wait, you're talking about my tight end or theirs? Ours is uh, Hayden, Will Hayden. He was an athlete. And the funny thing is, his attributes are actually aren't that good for being a tight end. He has a little bit of speed, a little bit. But his, his movement isn't that great. His catch is not that good. His blocking isn't even that good. Oh, actually, his blocking is better than I thought. Pass blocking 72. I didn't realize it was that good. See, their tight end. Yeah, so their tight end's made up. But yeah, that's he was a recruit. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, also, I noticed, Winter Soul, did you know that you use... The uh, Fresno State mascot timeout. Did you know that you used him? It's the same. It's the same mascot. We got Skinner. Skinner's got some speed, so he can probably match up on this receiver. Okay, we got this out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah. If it's reasonable, we can do it. It is. It is. Yeah. His name is Timeout. Second and fourteen. Two wide. Okay. Let's go to the regular three three five. Let's go with the little blitz here. Where's Dog? It's just called Dog, I think. Cover one. Where is it? Oh, darn it. What are we end up calling? I guess we'll roll with this. I don't care for it. So Travis Brown basically has to guard this whole area himself. Yeah, I will accept reasonable requests. I'll entertain. I'll, I'll consider them. Let's get there. Okay, that's not too bad. Lucas Wonder? We could do that. We might. We could probably do that. Who do we even have? Like, who do we have? We have... Let's see. So we'll just have to see. We have... Do we have any receivers that haven't really made a name yet? McMillan hasn't really made a name for himself yet. We could do that. We could do defensive end. Yeah, we could do that. I thought. Sorry, I thought you said wide out. I don't. Okay, no. Okay, Key MJ said name a wide out, and then you said Lucas Wonder, so I mixed it up there. Javon Wims, we could do that. Yeah, we do. We have lots of young players. Third and eight. Okay, let's do the oh, 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 let's do the dime. We've been liking this lately. The dog, dog three. Okay, this this QB has not shown to be a runner, so we'll go ahead and leave the blitz. We're gonna try to jump the snap. Get there! Yeah, yes, Slade. Woo! Yes. What a beast! And see, that's that's what I want to do on third down. I want to make him throw it sooner than he wants to. Because if he has time to throw, that's when they find guys downfield. But if you can get him to throw it quickly, see, even if even if that's not picked, it's probably an incompletion because of the quick throw. Yeah, so I mean, even if he bet, just bats that down, it's mission accomplished. We get a pick out of it, it's all the sweeter. He is Philip. <laughs> Philip Thomas is he? He's he's money. Yeah, it's so I only use the line to do snap jumps, which is. In 07, it's not in 06. We see how I knocked this guy back. That's because I jumped the snap. And and the CPU will do it to you. They'll do it to you all the time. So it's not really a cheese. And it's also not consistent. If they, and also part of it too is, it, it's for me personally, it's kind of a guessing game. Uh, so some, so okay. So sometimes when the offense, the CPU offense comes up to the line, as soon as they get in their get in their stance, they'll snap it. Well, it's, it's it's risk reward. So in that sense, yeah, it is risk reward because it doesn't always work either. Like sometimes you get the great jump and you, but you don't knock them back. But so for my personal guessing game is if if the computer basically I have to guess if I think the computer will snap it as soon as they get in their stance. Now if I'm guessing they don't, I'm not going to try to jump it, and then I'll just wait for them to actually snap it. So it's actually easier for me to do it on reaction if they don't do it right away. So. That's kind of the, the little algorithm that I have of of trying to guess. A, a little bit. I'd say it's not as, as risky as that, but you also take yourself out of the play. Okay, I don't know if this is man or zone. We'll let Robbie go because I don't know which – I don't know what this is. I'll try to get them to wiggle a little bit. See, now I'm trying to prevent them from jumping the snap. Let's go Duds. Look at Duds. Get a field. Stay in bounds. Well, he, I don't know how he gets the separation, but he always does it. It's, he's such a fun receiver. And really, the right read was probably Robbie. No, he's pretty well covered. So I guess I could have waited on Devontae to clear into the middle. But hey, dude, when you got duds, you're going to give it to duds. I, so I, I don't know if it's... I don't use stick, actually. I use the triggers. But maybe... Is, is it supposed to be... Um, let's see. Rushing, passing, defense. First defense. Swat, strafe, strip ball. 
I mean, I use the I use the LR, but does the stick do stuff too? Oh yeah, I totally do fake. Yeah, I absolutely do fake snaps all the way. Yeah. Let's try to run something in this new formation. So Coach Bob, I put a new formation in. It's this right here, just because it looked fun. Uh, let's see, receiver drag, trips attack. Let's do gambler. That looks fun. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Seventy-nine percent. Is that on the season? That's really bad for me. Let's walk, Robbie. Okay, let's see what we get here. Oh wow. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I forgot to pinch my line in. Oh, they also blitz pretty heavily. That's disappointing. But I didn't I didn't pinch my line. This happens so often. I have three I have two linemen not blocking anyone. Second and seventeen, so let's try to get some of this yardage back. Let's go Pia Reed flow. Yeah, and I need to uh, I've been having better luck pinching my line and trying to stay in the pocket. So I'm going to do that here, too. So here I'm also going to read this uh, left linebacker. If he fades back, I'm going to hand it off. He faded back. Oh, no. Ah, my guy popped me back. Ping-ponged off of him. I could have done a manual counter. That's okay. We basically just don't want to get sacked out of field goal range, and our kicker's not that good, so we want to be careful here. Let's run mesh. So pretty much if it's a man, I'll toss it up to Devontae. Otherwise, I'll just try to get a few yards on drags. Let's keep Robbie in. Okay, we're going to pinch. Yeah, pinch the line so we can try to stay in the pocket. Great jump, of course. We'll just go does and get some yardage. Ah, oh, he ran backwards. So was it? Yeah, it was zone. That's fine. Middle of the field. We'll take our two-score lead. I have no problems with that. We want to pump up Gidry, get him that up, the Groza. I don't do halfback direct. I just don't think it's a fun play to run at all. I basically only run stuff that's fun, to be honest. And that's actually something I was going to talk about a minute, a little bit ago, probably before the screen went all green. I don't, I don't run the best plays, but I don't run the best like things that work the best, quote unquote. I just do what's the most fun. He did. It wasn't a great throw. Yeah, um, Uncle Rico is not. He's not the best QB. Oh my gosh, Derek Carr. His passes are incredible. I mean, that's. I really hope we can really light it up when he gets back. But yeah, Simon, he does okay. Let's look at what his stats are right now. Either he might be on. Okay, he's plus two. See, this happens all the time. I feel like their accuracy is always low. It always goes minus. It's like arm is easy to go plus. Accuracy always goes down. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not. I, hey, I, I don't. I don't go for it on fourth down a lot. I don't take a lot of risks. I like to keep that momentum meter up. I mean, the momentum meter is huge in 07. So I, I generally only go for it on fourth down if the other team already has momentum. That's almost a requirement, unless it's a game situation where I have to go for it, which if you have to go for it on fourth, you're probably, you probably don't have momentum. But anyhow, in, in, if the other team has full momentum, that's almost only the, the only situation where I will uh, go for it. Okay, so coming in, you might have... Ah, darn it. Okay, we'll just man up over here. Looking to throw. Comes across the middle. Got that. They'll bring him down at the 26. Oh, yeah, yes, it's true. And you know what? And that's a good point. Really, anytime you get hit, it'll decrease accuracy. Quick release, and he's very accurate. Hmm. I'm going to go cover three. I'm going to go cover three and try to jump the snap. They line up at the 26. Johnson. Mismatch there. Let's go, Luke Johnson. The defense is playing the pass on this one. <sighs> no. Okay, we got the big hit. We got a first though. And he gets the first down. Yeah. You know what's funny is I only started. I mean, blitzing. Yeah. I, I do run a lot of blitzes. I actually didn't run many blitzes though until was it like last season, Coach Bop? Before that, I would basically never blitz. First, and first down. Just because I would play, my, my strategy is more like bend, don't break. Yeah, after, yeah, that's true. Goodness, I'm not getting any benefit on a great jump. And I have a mismatch on, uh, Tito has a mismatch there too. Four wide. Okay, let's go cover three. Let's play some defense. We'll play some, uh, play some secondary here. Slade, I'll take this because then I can support run. 
Here's the game. Okay, here we go. LRB with the tackle at the four. Oh yeah, that's true. Yes, it's true. Yeah, because so you probably noticed that my team is super stacked because of that. I don't I wanted to keep the game hard and so I increased the I made the sliders. I increased the difficulty using sliders basically. And so it's made me have to blitz more. Woo! Oh, Slade! Let's go! Oh, here we go. Maurice. Yes! That's our boy. That's our freaking boy. Love it. I mean, that's to me is the only acceptable outcome of Slade dropping that pick. Yes, the greenhouse. So another thing, if you have watched a lot of my streams, at least this season, this guy number 31 is basically my favorite player on the team. To the crib. To the crib. He's my favorite player on the team. And he does so many things. So basically, and he's my favorite player, yet I also, no joke, I've lost sleep over the fact that I didn't convert him to running back. I should have converted him to running back. But what happened was, so he was an athlete recruit. Uh, during the last offseason where you can change his positions, basically what happened was he was going to be really good at running back, but his awareness would drop to like 44. And I just didn't like it, but he would have been better off running back. The thing is, he can play DB. So look, 89 speed, 72 strength. Awareness, that's fluid based on position. Good agility, good acceleration, good catch, good carry. Good, decent jump. Jump's okay. That could be better. But he's got break tackle. He can throw the ball. Like, we will, well, he's, he's our backup QB right now because we're down to our, we're basically down to a one quarterback that's not redshirted. And so I'll put him, at, him in at backup if it's a blowout. But he can do everything, and he just he makes plays. He's a beast on kicker turns. He's good at kicker turns. He's good at everything. He's so much fun. So I don't know. I'm actually considering maybe even changing him to running back next offseason and just see how it looks. And maybe I don't do that, but I, I want to. I'm, I'm interested in it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I would actually have. Last game, I did put him in at running back because it was a blowout, and uh, I put him in at running back at the end of the game. Yeah, my Maurice Green is. He's my favorite player. He makes the PAT. Less than two to go in our It's kind of true that he has, it is more fun. It has, it has more of a novelty factor, I think, while he's at DB. We <laughs> murder Florida. What do you mean by that? So this game's looking pretty good, similar to the last game. He's bringing it out. Yeah, I could. Um, and actually, I do... I was going to say, I, the, so like you can do like corner or receiver, but I think that's your number one corner when they when they do that. I think it's your number one corner. So let's see. We'll man up here. He's green. Let's move our linebackers over. <laughs> oh, he didn't jump. He spun. <laughs> Danical. I know. It's uh, it's a little hair, it's a little hair raising right now, a little stressful. It's only 17 zip. Oh, this dude, so he put him on offense a bunch and threw him a bunch of passes. Let's run, we'll run man one more time. If they make another first down, we'll go back to zone. Or I should say, you know, like quit doing man significantly. Singleton set to go to the air. He throws. He's knocked out of bounds at the 45. Yeah, actually, I don't think I've caught Deluxe Dillon's stream yet. I need to do that. I followed him. Okay, he's yeah, they're, he's getting some yards on us. We don't like that, so let's see what we can get here. Gosh. Gosh darn it. Another great jump, and I didn't get any benefit. I don't know what it is about this lineman. I, we have momentum. It's a serious mismatch, and I can't knock him back. Let's go with a little blitz action here. Down, 10 to go. Okay. Yeah, I could I could definitely see that making a difference on uh on your Heisman. PD, who is PD? Alright, let's see. I actually want to run that again. Let's see, I don't know. I I want to see this against a pass play. Let's see if we can get to the QB. Ace backfield. Gosh darn it. 
Okay, let's get a, get a back <laughs> they, The back juke always works. The CPU back jukes me all the time, and it freaking always works. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, the, in this game, loves for award purposes, player of the game, stuff like that, Heisman. They love, they love well-rounded stats. It loves running quarterbacks. It loves running backs who catch the ball. Okay, okay. Okay, that's this has been too long. I, I got you though. Okay, let's do let's do manual let's do manual Tito here. Singleton fakes the hand. Okay, we're there. We're there. Big hit. And he is drilled at the 14 yard line. One of the things you gotta love about NCAA is laying a big hit on guys when you're running the same direction. You know, basically if he's running the opposite of me. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's gonna run out the quarter, I think. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 14 yard line. It's been pretty lopsided here in the first quarter. The score is Fresno State. Let's see, wife sending me texts. Arizona, sending me funny nothing. things. What is this? <laughs> oh, man, that's pretty good. You know, it's good times when the wife is sending me memes and funny ones. Let's see what we got. Let's play deep. Okay, let's hope they lob one deep. They love going corner end zone. Let's see if we can bait one. Let's play it back a bit. Here we go. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we're there. It's complete, and he shoved out of bounds at the ten yard line. Nice little catch there, huh, coach? Yeah, that was a good. Call. I'll have to check it out. PD sounds like a good time. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get crazy. Nah, I didn't mean to call that. Let's go. Let's just go cover three. We'll play corner. We'll play in. Let's just try to bait him to throw it to the corner so, so we can knock it down. They love throwing to the corner in the end zone. Are they going to? Oh, Grant Wright. Dude, my guys make plays, man. It's funny how the, the dot, the CPU, QBs, impact quarterbacks, they do this all the time. They're, th they're too aggressive. Skinner just wanted to knock it down. It's like, no. Greg Wright says, no, you got to get, you got to be more ambitious than that. I almost pitched it right here, but that wouldn't have netted me really anything. Let's run receiver middle. Let's push the envelope a little bit. Okay. I'll have to check it out. So they're in man. Okay, so we're going to try to hold on to the ball and try to hit Bennett. Oh, we need to pinch our line. There we go. Yes. There we go. That that worked. Look at that, Coach Bop. Pinch the line. Running back and fullback both held in. Now, we didn't really block this nose tackle too well. He is really good, though. They have one really good D tackles. So that might be him. Also throwing a nice uh, ball in the face of pressure. Look at that. We knee him. What is this? What is this? We knee him in the butt. Boom. What is that? It's like, hey, I don't like that. I don't like you. Uh, Trespassing on my pocket. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, and I forgot to look at my depth chart. I did. I forgot. I talked about it, but I forgot to check my depth. I said I was going to, and I didn't do it. We have an 80. Let's see. Non-starter D. Thomas. He must be the left guard. Yeah. So let's put him back there. No. Okay, thanks for catching that. So it wasn't a huge drop off, but that guy is better. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thanks, Coach Bob. Let's run something in here. Trips attack. Gambler. We ran Gambler already. Clear out stop. Flood. Flood looks interesting. Let's try this. Okay, they're in a dime. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to block Robbie. I'm going to block Robbie. I'm going to roll left, I think. That's kind of cool. You can just switch sides. Usually they run up to the line. That's pretty neat. I'll just run with it. Oh, no. He's not going to let me. Okay, we're going this way. Oh, look at look at Burst. He's too open. Okay, that he might have been out of bounds. I'm going to hurry up. Was that out? That looked kind of like out. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Burst again. Why not? Why not? Oh, I should have juked, man. Oh, now he's hurt. Dang it. He got hurt. Uh, didn't he get hurt? What was like the opening play? He got hurt last game. He was out for the whole game. I tried to spin this guy. I guess I should have tried to juke. Oh, man, I wanted to score this. I wanted to get by this guy and score a touchdown. That would have been too sick. 
Oh, yeah, if you knee him, I know, right? And he was fine. He was just fine. Did he? Okay, I wasn't sure, so I just ran hurry up. So let's do this. Let's run. Let's run QB slot. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone. We might have a chance here, despite them stacking the box. They pinch in. Great jump. Okay, no matter. Okay, that's okay. I didn't want to get hit by Dot Man, so I'm okay with that. Let's run this PA read. Okay, we might be able to hit him on the swing pass. So I think he's out for the game again. Well, at least he got, got some stats in. Uh, we're going to block Hayden. I'm going to look for... I think I'm going to I'm gonna fade left on the line. And I'm going to try to hit Robbie on the swing pass here. Oh, no, that guy got blocked. We can get this. Stiff arm, fall forward. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, the, the guy that I need or which one? I missed it. Oh, man. Robbie getting loose. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. Things are going well, guys. Things are going well. So the the the, se the end of the season. So this is kind of a blowout. The end of the season is going to be really interesting, though, because we play Arizona State. They're an A plus in their ranks, and so is USC. They're ranked and also an A plus. And I think USC might even be, they might even be like number three in the country. They're ranked very highly. I think. I think they're undefeated. So I'm glad that we can kind of get by these teams without breaking much of a sweat. He, oh, he was, yeah. He kind of, I think he, well, I think he was doing one animation, then he recovered, and then he, he like went right into another one. It was kind of an odd, an odd deal. Four wide. Let's run cover one. 138 offense. That's not bad. We need to do better than that, though. But part of it, too, is we're getting turnovers on defense, which makes it hard to get yardage. Late jump, yeah. And I got decked. Darn it. Okay. Oh, I thought that could have been a pick. And he tackles him hard at the 40 yard line. Mm, one wide. Let's go with little zone. We'll flatten out cover three. This is a really good zone. I find that uh, it's the defensive pass super good, super well. We'll go down here on the outside. Toss here. Let's contain, contain, contain. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We uh, occupied the blockers so that Travis Brown could come lay the wood. Whoa. Second and seven. Let's let's do a little blitz action here. Let's do the crash three. It's second down. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna manual the zone here with uh, with with Tito. Singleton lines up in the shotgun. Okay. Oh, you're just running it. Oh, darn it. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Here we go. They're mixing it up really well. I mean, if we weren't getting turnovers, they'd have points right now. We're kind of lucky they're getting turnovers. What was that? Was that total yardage? I think that includes kick yards, though. Kick return, I should say. Okay, let's get there. Oh, gosh, we're all alone. Oh, got him. I didn't score up very well, though. Too wide. Okay, let's... Oh, not sure what to do here. Let's run... Okay, let's run strong safety dogs. I want to try to jump the snap. We got to get... We got to get in the backfield. Washington. I can't not go for this jump. <sighs> Late that time. Singleton. Oh, no. I went for a pick, and I was stupid. Thankfully, it was badly thrown. I didn't get it. Oh, it was super late in my animation, too. Third and one. Okay, so here, this is something I often do. I'm going to call an all-out blitz right here. And the hope is that the, that, they, that the CPU calls a pass play to counter it, and then we're all actually uh, audible to um, pass D myself. So we'll see what happens here. They didn't audible, so I might it might have worked. Yep, that's play action. Oh, there we go. Get hands. Alfred. Woo. We're getting handsy out there in the secondary. We're feeling it. So who got the hand up? Is it Slade again, or who was it? It was Slade. So Slade has picked it and then tipped balls that have twice that have resulted in a pick. So he's basically responsible, almost responsible for three interceptions.
Oh, I'm sorry. I missed your comment earlier, uh, King MJ. North, North Texas A&M in the Big 12. That's exciting. That's what I like doing. That's I think that's cool. Did he have him as like a rebuild, or how did he uh, clear out stop? Let's try this. Was it a rebuild, or what was uh, what kind of deal was it? Let's see. Robbie. We'll let Robbie go. I don't know if that's a delay. Okay, it is not. Let's actually hit Devonte here. Oh, your cousin, how's your cousin uh, doing okay? COVID? Well, hopefully he's okay. And if it's private, that's fully fine too. It's second down. Yeah, it is. It is. The jump, I've, I'm convinced that jump is like the god. It's like the, it's like the shadow, like god attribute that dictates a lot of stuff. Okay, let's block Victor Dean. Victor Dean back in the mix. I'll do a two count, I guess. Great jump. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. No, no, no. Oh, you know what? I was hitting the pass button to Dean. I had him block. Damn it. I was hitting the wrong button because I'm trying to throw on the run here, which is not a good idea. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. Okay, okay, okay. Gosh, darn it. So we really had the great jump, did it? Or, yep. Gosh, this freaking guy right here. Okay. Uh, and I uh, just the creation though. So when he, when he created him, did he do like cupcake or what? Uh, strong safety. Let's try this. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. I need to take the sack. But I knew I had Dudley or no? Yeah, it was Dudley coming open. I knew I had him, so I really wanted to throw it. Oh, they they took their QB out. Okay, let's scout him out. Let's do a little scout job. He's a scrambler. Pretty good. Oh, okay. His awareness now is not good. Throwing is pretty good, though. What? What's the down distance? I lost it. Um, we'll call this monster, too. Let's see what they do. I don't know if I like this. We'll, we'll, we'll try this. We'll probably get burned. But I think we can do it. This guy might also scramble. Okay. Uh, balanced, okay. So does that give you like a B or like a B minus or something like that? Because I've I've wondered because I've thought about doing that as well, uh, create a create a team, but I don't know how I'd start out. Because I think it would be fun to start out as cupcake, but the thing is your your guys are just so bad. Then I wonder, okay, do you want to do cupcake but then sim the first season? Get him! Get him! Whoa! Get it! Oh no! Nice hit though. Who hit him? Oh, Skinner. No banks. That was pretty sick. So he catches air. He must. Does he dive? Oh, he dives! He dives! He dives, and we we punish. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, that might be the way to go, especially in a power conference. And if you're playing on hard difficulties, that might be the way to go. I guess we'll go all out blitz. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what they come out in. Okay, they have a receiver out, so let's do this. Let's blitz like one guy here. Actually, let's blitz two guys. We'll play the corner. Oh, darn it. That was easy. Okay, they'll probably pass it here. Let's go with the, uh, the bear. Let's go middle plug. I don't think this deep safety is that valuable, so I'm just going to manual. I guess I'll try to defend these tight ends. Because I think they're, they're probably passing. Oh! God, I thought he was out! Looked like he was out! I wonder if I can challenge that. I can't. Probably because it was a conver point conversion. I thought he was out. So that... I guess that foot's down, because if it's not, he's out. Yeah. So I guess that he dragged it, yeah. All right, got to answer before half. That's that's what I wonder about. See, here's what I think would be fun, is if you could have a cupcake, but then, say, have maybe, like, two guys on offense and two guys on defense that are, like, in 84 overall. That To me, that would be a good challenge. That would be fun. Double option. Let's run double option with Robbie on the give. Here's a look at the offensive production. God, they're stacking the box. Let's see if, if they don't shift. Oh, gosh, it's ugly. So I might do this then. 
I do manual counter. No, we're gonna we're gonna audible out. So we can probably hand it off here. No, we're gonna have to call timeout. Yep, that's fine. Telepathic defense. We know they, that's a thing. That's fine. You know, let's go with let's go split and drag. Where is that? Switch, split and drag. We'll do it this way. Yeah, I know. I don't. What is my offense like? 150 or something? 131. Our defense is too good. We're getting we're getting defensive stops. Let's block Hayden. I don't really envision myself throwing it to him right now. Probably try to squeeze it into Devonte. Here we go. Oh, nope. Okay, we got lucky there. That was actually an excellent pass. I did precision left because I wanted to clear that spy. What a good, that's, that's a freakishly good pass. That's actually a great, great pass. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, that was awesome. Yeah, exactly. Quarterback to find the hot receiver. So you can edit, can you edit it before you start? Because doesn't it randomize? I guess I'll have to look into it. I just have never really done it, too, done much of that. Because if I could do that, have a cupcake, and then have, yeah, just a couple of guys that were good, I feel like you could work a game plan around that. Hayden. Oh, darn it. Ah, uh, nope, nope, nope. Nobody. So how, how's my pocket? Pocket was okay. I did kind of run myself into pressure, but I also didn't really have anybody open. Third and one. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Old Faithful. Yes. Okay, yeah, so forgive me. So you can edit it before you start the season? Because that's what I was wondering about. Okay, it looks like man. So we're going to block Robbie. Okay, I hope I really would like Bennett to get open actually, but it's going to be Bennett or Devonte most likely. Simon will throw for it. Bennett, Looks get me! Yes, awesome. That's a lot of fun, man. And Bennett's good. I like getting him the ball. Okay, no, that's good to know. I'd have to explore that then because I think that would be fun. I think that'd be a lot of fun. They were yes. Yeah, so did, did Dudley get open? Yeah, Dudley got open. I prefer this in though. This out. If it's not very accurate, if it's if it's not an accurate pass, this guy can make a play. But with this route and being the, having the position that he does, it doesn't have to be a very good pass to complete. Dudley, he's also on a red dude. Dean out, Devontae. If, this safety, if the safety's come up and it's man, I think I'm going to go Devontae. Okay, they actually do go up, so let's try to hit. Oh, no, that's zone, though. That was bad. Not a good pass. But also, he's trying to throw over the safety, so I understand. Did I really have anybody there? I really didn't have anyone. Yeah, nobody's open, so. He felt the pressure there. Oh, there's no yeah. Question. He needs to make I know, because watching right people pre-play, it definitely affects what I mean, you see. P. Reed, let's try this. If they're in zone, I would really like to hit. Oh, it's Victor Dean on the outside. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, it's man. It's man. Goodness. I'm going to fan the line. I'm actually going to fan him right. This, this could be really bad. I think I'm going to go Robbie on the swing, though. No, he got eaten up. Damn it. Going deep, lays it out there. Victor Dean! <laughs> yes! He's all the way down. That's really all I had. I don't like to just chuck it deep like that because it's too easy, but that's literally all I had. I think, right? I think that's all I had. I might need to call timeout. I mean, there's just nobody. There's, this is too high traffic. Yeah, dude, Dean getting loose. We have two timeouts. We're on the 12, so we don't need to call timeouts. We can run some clock. Let's run PA Reed. The pressure turns up when in the yeah, that was pretty nice. That was a good throw, too. I mean, look at this. Look at Simon. So I wanted to go. So this is funny because I wanted to go to Robbie. It's actually probably better that he got tackled because it took this rusher out of the play. Well, actually, it's, it's either or because if the rusher doesn't tackle him, then I can lob it to Robbie, which was what I wanted to do originally. I also dropped back like freaking 80 yard video game drop back. That was pretty nice. Okay. They have, so that dot guy on the right, he looks like he's in blitz. Okay, I don't. see what they do here. Let's do. Let's move Hayden over. He's a blocking Dudley. If it's zone, I really want to go Devonte. Great jump. Ah man, I try to go Devonte. I'm just not. We're getting trashed on the line. Okay. It's the great jumps though. It's the great jumps. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'll call timeout. Yeah, I'll call timeout now. I'll call timeout now. Uh, what do we want to run here? Like, what's our objective here? I guess we should try to get some yardage and get out of bounds. So what do we have in that sort of flavor? Slot whips. Deep strike. We have a lot. We have, okay, we got the long timeout. Spacing. I, let's actually look at this. Let's look at spacing. 
We're kind of on the wrong hash, though. Let's flip this. How do I flip the play? I hardly ever do this. Flip. There we go. Okay, we're going to block Robbie. Or do we want to block Robbie? Now we'll leave Robbie go. Okay, so we're going to work this right side. Late jump, that's good. We actually have Devontae. Oh, no. We yes! Oh, what a catch. Freaking saved me. And this is what happened. I thought I saw him open, and then I thought he wasn't. It was the ref. The ref looked like a defender because he's not that different than... I thought the ref was a defender because initially I looked at that, and I'm like, oh, I got him. And then I see the ref, and I'm like, crap, it's a pick. Oh, man. Nice throw. That was really nice. That was great. So, yeah, that... Simon is throwing some nice balls right now. I had this looks like I had Robbie on the sideline, which that would have been pretty good. We also had Devontae. Yeah, I think so. His look at how he gets up there because he doesn't have great position on this, does he? I mean, it looks kind of overthrown, but yeah, that stretch out like that. You don't get that animation that much. That's you won't see that very often. I think that's that 99 jump. And look, he even gets a little warp back, too. Look at the ball. See how it, it kind of it has a trajectory, and then it kind of warps down into his hands. He really does. I think that has something to do with it. If it's a better receiver, you get a better throw. He really is a man amongst boys, man. That's That was good stuff. And sorry I missed all your – you were calling a bunch of plays there, Coach Bob. I apologize. I didn't see that. A split and drag did occur to me, though. It did. So that helps the whole offensive stats. I think that gets us over 200. Fresno State. To kick this one off, Lewis and Brady. And I see your comment too, uh, Kia Steelers. I do need to step up in the pocket better. I just, I get shell shocked, and I'm, this is not an excuse. I'm just kind of saying I, I'm a little shell shocked because their D tackles have been swimming my guards a lot, and so it's hard for me mentally to do that. But that's what I need to do, because really, I, I feel like if they're swimming, your, if the D tackles are swimming in and getting in quickly, really nothing's going to work. So it's not even worth trying to run outside. Wow, have a sit. And we don't have timeouts. Yeah, they're just going to let it run out. That's fine. So good stuff, good stuff. Let's get back. As they head to the locker room, it's, it's been a one sided affair. The score, Fresno State. Yeah, good game. This is going well. Arizona, eight. So, yes, we clipped our two hundo. How's Robbie doing? Six for 59. We need to give him the rock more. That's a pretty good average. Spread the ball around on all offense. I like that. That's fun. So, good stuff. Did we throw Did we throw a pick? What was our stats? One. Two, okay, one touchdown. I'm, I like the stat line. I, I'd like to throw a, have a game where I don't throw any picks with uh, – Arizona with Uncle Rico. Okay, there you go, yeah. Okay, so he does have a turnover, but it's not on the pass stats. So let's get Dudley going here. Let's see, does this have any kind of... This has motion to be... Let's run this one time. God, they stack the box. So Duds is the... He's the pitch man. Okay, we can actually... Let's go ahead and do a handoff here and just see how it works. Great jump. I, I thought I handed it off. Just get out of bounds. See, he doesn't hand it off. I hold down A. The, the motion WR for whatever doesn't work. I guess I got to stop running that. Because in theory, it's a very fun play if it, if it works right. Tight end deep. Let's run this. I feel like it's often disastrous for pass blocking, but what do we have? Devontae running it out. So I like that a lot. Let's actually just... Shoot. From the Let's just block everybody. Man. We'll block Robbie, too. Let's, we're, we're literally two pass routes. Get out there. Okay, big hit. I knew that was coming. So did Bennett, did Bennett get space? Oh, man, if I had let him clear, he actually would have had space. Wow. Look at the protection. So they rush. Okay, they do rush... They rush six against my eight blockers. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, I apologize. I, but look, I didn't have time, though. I would have had to precision pass it out here and just pray that it clears the spy. So actually, Bennett, I would have required more time to throw. 
inside. So here he is inside. Where are you talking about? This one? Let's get him inside. Right there. Flanker slot. Ah, uh, you know, he's he's done a quite a bit though. He's done a lot. He's a big time contributor. He just not he doesn't have that X Factor flair. He's very, very solid though. Let's let everybody run. Okay, here we go. Bennett. See, he's just like he's like Mr. Reliable. I I, I like throwing to him legit because I know he's probably gonna catch it. He's really big. Oh, look at Robbie. Robbie got pretty loose there. That guy got picked. That, that was we had the uh we did. Too bad I don't throw wheel routes. <laughs> I saw. I saw. Double option. Let's run double running back option. And we'll keep it. You know what? We might flip this. Let's have a look, though. VT. What is VT? Pardon me if I... That's, I maybe I'm missing something there. I feel like I often miss out on... On a... Here we go. And down he go at the no, okay, but I couldn't get him to hand it off, so that's what scared me. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I go here, let's run it again then. Let's do it. Okay, but I had an issue because I, I tried holding down A to hand it off to Robbie, and it didn't work. Fresno State in a four wide set. See, he didn't hand it off. He's supposed to hand it off if you hold down A. He doesn't do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's true. I'll have to run that again at some point, honestly. Let's run this, P.A. Reed. I don't run this too often. What do they come out in? Dudley, sideline. Let's get this going here. I wanted him to block, actually. Richard that didn't really have much going on. Go down. Is it third down now? It's only second. That's good. Okay, Robbie's in the zone. So let's look at PA read flow. Maybe hand it off. Yeah, for, I don't know if it's something, if it's some kind of glitch or what, but they don't. Oh, it is third down. Well, I'm going to run it anyway. I think I, this looks pretty promising. Ah, oh, you know what, though? No, no, no. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Let's do this. And we'll block Victor Dean. Let's go, Robbie. Get up there. I think we. I think we should go for it. I don't. I'm up by so much. I think I can afford. I can afford the. Uh, the momentum hit here. If this is a close game, I would punt it. And I'm not exaggerating. I would punt it if it was close. Okay, it looks like man. So we're gonna block Robbie. So let's hope we can get Bennett. We'll just have to see. And we'll also need to pay attention to spies potentially, as far as whether we go to Bennett or Adams here. Okay, it's Bennett. It's Bennett. Oh, damn it. So Duds did get open. We just didn't have the blocking. That's too bad. He answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big... I didn't make that one. That's a that's a default one. And also, I can't trigger signs right now because it's a road game. Go over. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I didn't make that one. Max Pro. Yeah, I know. And it's actually a good play. Even though I explained why I don't like running it, it still is a good play. I don't argue that. Because it does take pass blocking out of the equation, more or less. But that's kind of why I don't like running it. Winter Soul hosting me again. I don't know. I just got another pop-up that Winter Soul's hosting me. I appreciate it, man. We'll go cover three. They've been moving the ball on me now. I mean, they scored at the end of the half. And I got a turnover. I haven't really stopped him that much. Okay, we tried that. It didn't work. <sighs> Darn it. He juked me. Yeah, I know. I, I've also noticed, too, I think if it's your bowl game and you're not the home team, I don't think you can use the, the your created signs. See, I do have some created signs, and I enjoy I enjoy getting them going. Okay, they're running it. Oh, goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Man, they're really shredding me here. I guess I need to just try to throw them off. Let's run a little blitz. Let's run. Let's run three, three, five. I like the cover three. Oh, yeah, crash three. Not a fan of cover, cover two blitzes. I feel like cover two gets just destroyed. 
Four we're in, we're, in, we're, in, we're play deep here. I like playing deep cove. We're there. Oh, come on, I had that. Did I not have this? Come on. What happened? Uh, he waved his arm too late. Darn it. I mean, also, I did go, I, that was an aggressive play. I could have just tried for the tackle. Ah, it's frustrating. Running, okay, they're going for it, so. Let's do, yeah, all that blitz, wobble out. Let's split these two guys. We'll play middle with Vega. Come on, get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh, get over here. Okay, there we go, I like that better. Bonner, Toss, oh, we got this, yes. Tosses do not work that well. Great stop there by the defense. So we got that two back from earlier. You know, you just gave up a touchdown, and you know they're going to go for two. Great job of recovering and not allowing them to get that extra. Gosh, we're only up 17 now. I mean, we got to be careful. Decent kick. Yeah, because they, yeah, we fourth down, didn't get it, and then they came right back with a TD. There's a missed tackle. Duds. Duds. That was good. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Hold on a second. Okay, let's try to hit him back. Let's try to hit him back. Double tight end outs. This play is awesome when it works. The percentage of the time it works is not that great, but when it works, it's it's great. Pinch line. Great jump, of course. Darn it. I dropped back too far, I guess. Yeah, and I guess I took myself into pressure there, so that's my fault. I just need to quit doing that, man. Okay, this is a good time for Max Protect. I like it here. Try to get some yardage back. Let's do that, Coach Bob. I'll run it here because it's not a crucial down. Where are we at? Actually, let's put Robbie. Where is it? Can we get Rob? Darn it. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We got time. Line up at the Seven, six. Can Second we block? Five, four. I'm not going to try blocking Hayden. Fresno Didn't Scott. really have time. Simon, back to pass. Bennett, we got this. We can sky that. Oh, one-handed. Sick. But he heard us talking crap earlier because we're like, well, Ben, it's not that flashy. He doesn't have the X factor. He heard us. He heard it. And we got a first off of it. That's clutch. Receiver deep post, halfback tight end combo. Yeah, no. He said au contraire. Okay, what do we want to do? It's man. This is tough. I'm going to block Robbie. So we're blocking seven. I'll actually get Bennett here. That's a nice throw. Oh, good. Nice break, though. The DB broke quite well on that. So that's a little, a little frightening. Let's see here. We need to get it to Robbie a bit more. How do we want to do that, though? Let's run Let's run PA read flow and just try to run a handoff. So I want to get Robbie. I don't think he has 100 yet. He has 81. Gosh, they're running man, though. So they're, they're blitzing a linebacker. There we go. Good deal. They pick up another first, guys. They've got a decent drive going here. Yep, the offense is doing exactly what they have. So I'm going to do this, actually. Let's do go here. I'm going to call halfback screen. Can they come out like they're stacking the box? Okay, I'm going to let this go, actually. I'm going to kind of roll left a little bit and maybe hit Devontae. Robbie, nope. Oh, no, terrible. I mean, I threw it way too late, too. And there just wasn't a lot of zip on that throw. And it was inside. That was just all bad. I didn't want to throw it to Robbie. See, I should have, but the dot guy running over there scared me. Okay, what do we got? Second down, right? Second and 10. Let's run PA read. I probably should hand it off here. Pass protection hasn't been very good. Run blocking has been a lot better. Gosh, they're they are blitzing though. Okay, you know what? I don't. This is tough. I'm gonna have to hold on to it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, hand off here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Duds. Duds. Get there. Oh, hoof it out, Duds. He had a little separation. I would have liked to seen him uh, take that one in. Oh, that. Okay, 29. I thought he was a linebacker. He's a DB. So no, no issues there. Get me too upset. 
We're turning short drags. This looks like zone. So we're going to have to hit Bennett, most likely. Victor Dean could get open here. We're going to block Robbie. Okay, we're going to stay in the pocket now, too. Gosh darn it. So we stood in the pocket, and we got destroyed. So at least I didn't drop back 20 yards. Only like seven. I'm getting sacked a lot. Second and 19. What do we want to do here? Let's run QB slot. Yeah, let's run QB slot. Robbie's in the zone. Hopefully we can get off tackle here and get up field. They don't sh they don't shift. They line up in the shotgun. There was some Gosh, was that false start or that had been false start, right? It's funny, I didn't really see anybody move, but. He got confused on the snap count. Yeah, but so we'll run it again. Now they're in zone, so this looks more like either a manual counter situation or or a keeper. Oh no, we want to work the uh, work Devonte. We want to work the actual slot guy here. Okay, that's actually good. I don't mind that. I may want to pass it here. Actually, we need to get some yardage. I don't think I can. I don't want to run it here. Let's run. Let's run double cross. Winter Soul putting up the fours. I appreciate it. The right guard that got bench press. I don't. What do you What do you mean? He's the guy. He got. He's the. Uh, he forged. He's the guy that forged. Yeah. Late jump. That's good. Gosh darn it. We're just going to run up field. Nobody. So the blocking is just. Everybody's coming free. Okay. They blitzed. They blitzed a bunch of guys, though. So I can't talk too much junk on my own line. Third and 30. We just want to get a field goal here if we can. Let's run. I'm thinking slot whips. Yeah, let's run slot whips. I'm thinking either that or pay read flow, but we're not getting the pass blocking for that. Okay. So they come out in super dime. So I actually may want to audible out here. Let's audible out. Simon lines up in the shotgun. The Bulldog. Line up with four wide outs. So we can get Victor Dean up here. Okay, we're just going to hand it off. Get some yardage. Get our field goal. Yeah, we'll take that. So we got almost all of our sack yardage back. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's why I went for the run. And off the line, like, too. Off the, I read it off the snap, too, and it just it looked good. Those guys up front got blocked. Yes, thank you for putting up the fours. It's been a good fourth quarter so far. We're going to get points, so that's always good. The kick is up. Right down the middle. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Yeah, it, 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 I feel like it's kind of all or nothing. Yeah, because a lot of times they'll blitz in those situations too. What I also notice that's really bizarre is that I feel like in late game situations, and sometimes even when it's close, they'll blitz a lot and they'll give you good looks with safeties blitzing to where you know that you know you'll have a chance for single coverage deep. You get that all the time. I have a couple of uh, games early on in my in the dynasty where that happened, where I was able to get touchdowns late because they blitz and basically left me just wide open guys downfield. Boom, have a sit. I appreciate it. Appreciate the force. We'll go dog gold. I just, I kind of hope it puts a safety on a receiver, though, not a linebacker. Of course, it's a linebacker. Either way, huh? Look at that. that I think that's motion WR, I bet. Uh, no, not exactly. I don't know what that was. There's something at the end of the game that that it, it used to work, and then for some reason it just flat out stopped working. I don't know why. Let's run dog three. Let's see if we can get a quick throw and force a punt. Okay, Tito's in the zone. We should be able to get a freaking jump with Tito. I actually decided not to jump. Yep, we saw him. Get there. Oh, come on. Ah, no. That was in? That looked out of bounds. Okay, here we go. We've got a replay. That that looked out of bounds. Okay, yeah, that was two feet out. That was two feet out. We want to get the ball back so we can pad our offensive yardage. I mean, he couldn't. He was so out of bounds. Look at this. 
There's basically a 50-50 chance we get this. Actually, I bet it's reversed, yeah. When it's that obvious and that egregious, you usually get it returned. It's or overturned. It usually, if it's when it's closer, then you have a worse chance. Oh, do we have any glitch? I wonder if this, let's see. Let's make sure we don't have any glitches. Oh, everybody looks good. What about them? Yeah, they look good. Yeah, I, yeah, I did. Denman is waiting for the snap. Actually, I might just let this go so I can get more offensive yardage. I'm just going to let this go over my head. Okay, except they picked it up. All right. QB wrap. Is QB wrap a, a handoff? No, that's a run play. Zone read. Gambler. Let's run Gambler. Yeah, he was way out, so I was comfortable there. But I've had some funky ones. I've had some really funky ones where uh, I guess you can bring him up in the backfield. That's pretty cool. I'll have to work with that. Offsides, right? Thank goodness. But I've had some very questionable replay re challenges where they didn't reverse it, and it was very obvious that they should have. So what happened? He just ran in. Invisible hug. Hey, we need to do better on, uh, let's see, let's do receiver middle. I want to push it just a little bit, try to get maybe one more score with regular offense before I clam up. So here, this is dicey. Oh, man. I'm going to flip it. Okay. Because basically if it's zone, I'm going to go to Bennett. I want to throw it a non-dot. Bennett. Look at Bennett. He's so good. Big and good. That is perfect. Oh, we want to get Robbie out of here. We don't want... Yeah, that's... No, no, no. Okay, let's get Green in there. Running back, actually. We'll do QB slot. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Simon lines up in the shotgun. Let's actually just get him over here. Option right. Duds. Sideline? Nope. We got a couple. Did Simon get hit? He did. I thought he pitched it early enough. That's okay. Let's see here. Double option. We can run double running back. Option. Two and a half back, yeah. Wait, what, did his show him as having 300 plus yards again passing? 261. Maybe that, I don't know what that was. It said something about 364. Was that total offense? I don't know what that was. Maybe it's 324. I don't know. They come out with three wide receivers. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. Oh, yes, another. This is definitely a good warm up. It so gives me confidence going into our in season gauntlet. Uh, that wasn't a very bright play, yeah, we we can try one of these plays. I have not run these yet. Deep in, Z deep in. His coaches don't look too happy either. Slot outs, deep fade. Let's run this. This is the first time running, my first time running the five wide. So McMillan should get open here, I think. If they blitz, it's got to be McMillan, I think. They don't blitz. No, oh, but Dudley's not open. Here we go. That's quite a bounce. So they blitz what? They rush one guy? Oh, they rush two guys. Two man rush. So could I have gone really anywhere? Uh, not really. You have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his slot wheel, halfback wheel. Well, we don't run wheels though. We'll block him. The pressure turns up when zone. So here I'm gonna block green. This could be Hayden. If they blitz, I could maybe squeeze it into Bennett. That might be my first look actually. Simon, back to throw, looking. Hayden, darn it. Good pass, very good pass, but it was high traffic situation. Let's go here, we'll go Peter Reed. Was that Simon? Oh, I can't look at it. I was going to see if that was Simon. Somebody's tired. I'm thinking it might be Simon. 
Come out in the shotgun. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow, look at that. No! Okay, he actually has good carry. He has good carry. He has good carry. I shouldn't have been so upset about that strip attempt. Third and six. Let's... Hmm, this is a tough one. Spacing, corner sit. Let's run corner sit. Here's something I want to see. Can I smart route Devontae? Five DBs on the field. Not really, no. We'll see what happens. Actually, let's, oh, wow, I could. I tried to run it because I had a hole here. Did I even have anybody? Yeah, pass blocking just hasn't been there. Actually, might. I almost want to go for it, but I guess we can just kick it. We don't want to get too greedy. If it's short, I might go for it just because we don't really need the points. And I'd rather keep the chains moving. So now we can sub in second team D, etc. It's up, and the field goal is good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Yeah, okay. So you like zone blitzes? So you're saying you like to go all out blitz or zone blitz and then man coverage? I hear you. Yeah, I feel like things that are kind of in the middle, if that's what you're saying and I interpret that correctly, I feel like a lot of things, a lot of defenses that kind of play the middle where it's like, oh, blitz one guy, a lot of times they get eaten up. Because, and part of it I think is because blocking by the CPU is so good. Oh yeah, I want to get, uh, we're good, we're good. Um, but I think it's a lot of times, oh wait, no, let's get Rouse back in there and flip it back. Mass of toggle. I think it's because blocking, pass blocking is so good generally by the CPU that blitzing one guy generally doesn't work that well because then you're just one-on-one -on -one across the board. You know, you, their five linemen can block your five rushers, and you really don't get much good out of it. So that's so when I blitz one guy, typically, I will control a D lineman to try to jump the snap to make that blitzer more effective. We gotta try to get 400. We gotta get the ball back. Green. Linebackers move over. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking for his. Gosh darn it! I can bat that down. That's a first down and right they got a, there. That is a first, I guess. I guess I shouldn't be too worried about it at this point in the game. I'm like, okay, I thought he ran backwards past the sticks. Oh, I did not mean to run that. Crazy blitz. We're going to run, I guess we'll do cover three. We'll do it late, though. There we go. Arizona sets up with four receivers. Looking, he passes it. We're there. Complete to the true freshman. And the completion nets some very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that play? I'll tell you, those Three deep switch. I never run this because it's bad. Okay, so who do we have? We have Ortiz. Oh, it's Ortiz playing deep. Okay, we'll roll with this. How was my break on that? Uh, I wouldn't have got there in time. Could have got the tackle though. Great play defensively. I think he underestimated the speed of the defensive player. He just shot in and broke it up. That'll make it third down. Actually, let's stick with this because it puts Ortiz at strong safety. We'll go cover three zone this time. Third Send him in? Seven. Okay. Ball on the 32 yard line. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Actually, we'll do this. Arizona. And then we'll manual. So this is a bit of a cheese here, but I don't even know if it works, to be honest. Ah, oh, darn it. I went to guard the flat. And they make the stop at the 43. I was right there, too. He ran a clean route, and the quarterback... Oh, no. Oh, darn it. That guy's... Yeah. The receiver was able to shake off all the defenders that were trying to cover him. For some reason, he wasn't going to get back. <gasps> no! Did it glitch? No! Okay. Oh, I was really afraid that it glitched there. That was a close one. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up... So, yeah. Let's run. Let's send Ortiz in again. Strong safety zone blitz. Let's run this crash three. This should send him in. First down. Yeah, that's Ortiz, right? Yeah. We'll play deep. We'll play deep with the glover. Or blue trip, trip guy. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Who was that? So that was rushing, I think? That was gun. What did Ortiz do? Did he get in at all? He just got absorbed by the tackle. That's fine. Four wide. 
We'll go here. You know what? Let's get Ortiz out there. Free safety. Yeah, let's get Ortiz in there. And then for that to take effect, we have to do an on-off here. Okay. Let's run dime, cover three. Ortiz, middle deep. So this is a pretty tough assignment. The Wildcat come out of the ace formation. He's looking. Throws it nice outside. little box out. Boy, would he like to have that one back? Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on time. Three wide. So let's do this. Let's do dog three. I'm gonna run a uh, spy with gun here. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Arizona comes to the line with three wide. Oh, nice. Wait, did you actually do that? You call a defensive plays? Oh yeah, look at that. Was that uh? Who's the other guy? I forget. Not Lenny James. What's the Lenny? Oh, <laughs> the other torpedo. Justice. That guy's pretty good. I mean, I run a three-three-five. I don't say I, I don't have an, like an exact scheme, but I do run three-three-five. Do you you actually call defensive plays or are you just like advisor? That's pretty cool. I like it. I have the DC. Uh, coach Bop is my unofficial coach of everything. So this generally doesn't work, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's run some drags. Oh, you know what? Let's do slot whips. That's pretty cool. So is it scheme or individual plays? Congratulations. Because I was watching, I guess I didn't notice. This looks like man, right? We might be able to hit Victor Dean here. No, we're just gonna run with it. He keeps it. Ah, oh, okay, off the slide. I was afraid he's gonna he's gonna dive. Uh, let's see. We're on split and drag coming in the other way. Yeah, it's five two. This looks like man. So here's what I'm gonna do here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just clear everybody out, and we should get McMillan coming in. Look at McMillan. Look at the pass. That was a good pass. And look at this. He also cut off his route. Still a good pass, though, because I precision pass left. That was pretty nice. So let's see. Are we close to 400? I want to hit 400. 351. Ooh, we've got a ways to go. Uh, let's run crossers. We'll just roll out. This kind of looks like zone. Probably going to want to roll left. We have less defenders that way. Set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Okay, we're just going to try to do this. Get a little bit of yardage. Hey, he was out of bounds. Don't hit him. Ah, oh, man. 3-4, having good luck. Yeah, I've noticed, I've, what I noticed about 3-4 is that when the CPU runs 3-4, I have a much harder time. So I have noticed that. So I'm not too surprised that that's the case. So here we might want to try to hit Dudley. Yeah, well, we're going to try to want to hang in the pocket and hit, hit Dudley. He's looking. Oh, okay, we got the flag. Dang it, though. Ah, man. And I was kind of torn there as to whether I should keep running. And I did precision pass. I probably didn't need to. Not a bad pass at all, really. How, wait, how close was he to that? And I, sorry about the, the extreme replays. I guess I should have gone for an earlier... Um, Simon's, Rico Simon's back in. I should have gone for an earlier uh, animation, I think. So Maurice got tired. The Bulldogs come out showing three wide. They go with the option. Nice. I'll just dive that. Got her first. 11 rushes for minus 33. Yeah, it's not a good day. Let's run this in out combo since we can actually throw it right now. Kid zone. So I think it's going to be Dudley if we're going to get zoned. It's actually a man. Oh, good pass. Do you see how good that pass was? How he lasered that in there like a surgeon. Look at this. Right past the spy. I dropped back too far again, probably. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to run one more pass, and I want to not drop back so far. And yes, I know I could get hurt. That's the name of the game. Oh, we need the yardage, too. Okay, the running man. He may have changed things up here. He looks it's actually going to be McMillan again. He Come back! Yes! Okay, let's try to run it more time. Can we get up to the line? Come on! Okay. Uh, we got it off. Okay, here we go. It's Lawrence. Here we go. Got a few. Look at that. Perfect. 
So I don't think we hit our 400, but we got some of it. We got close. Yeah, they are. Yeah, James and Washington. So Washington's starting. I don't think any of them have good stats there. To, though tomorrow they'll go pro. So yeah, they'll they'll be super good. It's gonna be bookends on the ends there. But I know we have three junior DNs that are really good because I think it's James and Washington and Justice. Justice might just be a sophomore. Yeah, th think about 3-4. I kind of prefer 4-3 because, okay, he's, I thought so. Yeah, I think he's like a sophomore. Let's let's look. I, I kind of like 4-3 better because I like making plays with, like kind of play, I like making plays manually. And I feel like in 4-3, the, they generally block better. And so, yeah, and he's so light. I didn't realize that. So bizarre. What do, I get, ah, look at this. It's 205, 206. So at least he weighs more than Washington. He's still stockier. Um... Yeah, but it's, I, when stuff screws up the blocking of the, of the CPU line, I try to avoid that. I just don't think it's as fun. But uh, but it does work. But that's just me. Like I just I don't know. I try to I try to make the plays with my my linebackers and DBs. Or if I make a play with a D lineman, I like him to like shut a block or or get the jump the snap jump. Yes, yeah, so we we're 11 yards short of our 400. But that's okay. That's really okay. Rico, Uncle Rico, no picks. 293. He's been putting up some stat lines now. He's been slinging it. He's been slinging the rock. That's a lot of fun. Rouse got his 100. And what about running? What about catching? He Did he not catch a pass? He actually didn't catch a pass. How about that? Bennett, our leading receiver. That's nice. Solid possession receiver. Everybody averaging over 10. Except Lawrence, but he's a running back. Victor Dean got his one for 48. Devontae with another touchdown. He's got to be fresh from All-American. That's really exciting. Tackles, four tackles for loss. They had a bunch more than that. How do we do? Gun, six tackles. Banks, four. Two sacks, Justice, and Gun got in there. Four picks. Yeah, we let him have it. That's nice. Slade. Slade came up big. Two, His two uh, deflections both resulted in picks, too. Good stuff. That is. That's not. And, and when it fits the scheme, I like it. Yeah, that's really good. That's fun. Yeah, his yard per average is super good. That was like 11 or 12 per, out per, per attempt. All right, I'm gonna switch my input back over. Yeah, it's it's true, Coach Bob. If we if our if our D tackles don't turn, you know, if we end up. If we get worse at D tackle and better, or worse at D in and better at D tackle, that could be an option. Five two could be an option. I just feel like it gets roasted in pass pass coverage though. So we'll see. So yes, next game, it's a big one. Arizona State. It's pretty much a battle for. Uh, let's say they have one loss. Who do they lose to? Well, they lost to Cal, so they're down one in the uh, in the conference. They're down one in the conference uh, standings. Oregon, USC. These will be all be tough games. At least this one. Wait. Okay, home game and then away at USC. Yeah, that's if if you can evade. That's if you can shed a block, though. And that's what I was saying before. When I rush five, I like to control a D lineman and try to shed a block or or jump the snap to make that pressure more effective because I feel like often rushing five is not that effective. I don't have a lot of preference. I kind of just get who is high rated. I don't I don't really ad adhere to any scheme fits per se. I kind of just try to get the best guys I can, but within reason. Like I'm not trying to go after after blue chips all the time, so. I, I, I guess I generally look for more nimble guys, guys that have better 40s, stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. We just try not to get guys that are too slow. Like, we like at least, like, 72 speed, and I think we pretty much adapt to that. And plus, guys that are high rated generally are faster anyway. So 85, 78, 78, yeah, so all our guys are fairly quick. Chris Carter, I forgot about him. Might have to change his name. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Four six or less. That tends tends to be what we go for. So let's have a look. Any okay? No violations next game. We would like one, but not happening. How's that interest bar doing? 
It's down a bit more, so I don't... Hopefully we can avoid... A day. Okay, yeah, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. This could be like Chris Carter Jr. Recruiting. So, okay, we, let's set this up in case we forget. His parents mentioned he's always wanted to play for you. That's Coach Prestige. No clue what he wants to major in. Utah Fresno State USC. Let's go Coach Prestige on this guy as well. Free safety. No, no feedback. Let's go Program Prestige. Yeah, we generally have pass rushers. So that rounds it out. And so no other no other invites. So we have what four invites? One wait, one, two, three. Okay, not this guy yet. Yeah, yeah, they do. And and tackling guy tackling's too good in these games. You you could honestly put probably corners at linebacker and it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't suffer much. Like tackling and size don't matter as much as they should. Because you could put like corners probably at DN and be okay, to be honest. You can do all kinds of weird stuff, and the game doesn't recognize it too well. I wish it factored in strength and height and weight more. That would be nice. So, yeah, so that'll do it for this video. Uh, nice little game against Arizona. Robbie with another player of the week. Three. Ha look at, look at. Every, almost every game has been Robbie. So we had uh, Tito, Robbie, Devante, Robbie, 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 Robbie. <laughs> For the player of the game. Uh, actually, I want to look at player of the week. Didn't get it that time. Heisman? Probably not after that game. We didn't get on Heisman. No, that's okay. Awards, how are we doing? Oh, we gained. We gained in Walker. Okay, what about Returner? Do we come up at all? We're still 12. That's okay. All right, yeah, I'm going to end the video now. Thanks for watching. If you're all watching on YouTube, I appreciate it. Next game, it's a big one, Arizona State. That'll be on Monday, so watch for that on Monday. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a home game, so hopefully it's better. Like last year, we got we were up ahead and we got destroyed, so hopefully we can we can avenge that. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.